6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Zahra Sikander. First, the headlines. IMF has expressed satisfaction over economic reforms being carried out by government in different sectors for revenue mobilization and expansion of tax base. Pakistan and Spain at a delegation level talks in Islamabad today discussed bilateral trade and economic linkages. Pakistan and UNICEF have signed a memoranda of understanding to uphold priorities of safeguarding to children from devastating impacts of climate change. The New York Chamber of Commerce has expressed interest to invest in textile, leather, surgical and IT sectors in Pakistan. All parties here at conference has welcomed Pakistan Army Chief's remarks regarding atrocities being faced by the people in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. And Australia beat Pakistan by 13 runs in second T20 at Sydney today, securing decisive victory in three match series by 2-0. And now the news in detail. The International Monetary Fund has held constructive discussions with Pakistani authorities on the economic policy and reform efforts to reduce vulnerabilities and lay the basis for stronger and sustainable growth. This is stated in a statement issued by the IMF mission headed by Nathan Porter on the conclusion of their visit to Pakistan. The two sides agreed with the need to continue prudent fiscal and monetary policies revenue mobilization from untapped tax bases while transferring greater social and development responsibilities to the provinces. The statement further said structural energy reforms and constructive efforts are critical to restore the sector's viability. The strong program implementation can create a more prosperous and more inclusive Pakistan, improving living standards for all Pakistanis. Nathan Porter said the mission is encouraged by the authorities' reaffirmed commitment to the economic reforms supported by the 2024 Extended Fund Facility. The next mission associated with the first Extended Fund Facility review is expected in the first quarter of the next year. A high-level parliamentary delegation of Spain's Senate Foreign Affairs Committee met Foreign Secretary Amna Bloch in Islamabad today. The two sides discussed enhanced bilateral ties with particular focus on parliamentary cooperation, trade and economic linkages, as well as people-to-people -people contacts. Regional and global issues were also discussed. The New York Chamber of Commerce has expressed interest to invest in textile, leather, surgical and IT sectors in Pakistan. President and CEO of the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce, Mark Jeff, expressed interest during his meeting with the ambassador, Rizwan Said Sheikh, in New York. During the meeting, the ambassador highlighted the pivotal role of Pakistan's Special Investment Facilitation Council in fostering investment opportunities across multiple sectors. Rizwan Said thanked for support and interest of New York Chamber of Commerce in Pakistan's recent 5th International Textile and Leather Exhibition, Texpo, 2024 Karachi. The government of Pakistan and UNICEF have signed a memorandum of understanding to uphold priorities to safeguarding children from the devastating impacts of climate change. Prime Minister's coordinator on climate change, Ramina Khurshid Alam, said witness this signing ceremony held at Pakistan Pavilion on the sidelines of the COP29 Global Climate Conference in Baku today. Secretary Ministry of Climate Aisha Humera Muriani and UNICEF Deputy Executive Director signed the Declaration on Children, Youth and Climate Action. Addressing the event, Rumaina Khurshid Alam said enhancing access to education, health and nutrition services in climate-affected areas, as well as investing in sustainable development infrastructure to protect schools and communities from extreme weather is top priority of the government. The federal, provincial and the governments will work to ensure that children's rights and interests are at forefront of climate action and investment. The 12th edition of Defense Exhibition and Seminar Ideas 2024 is commencing at Karachi Express Center from Tuesday next. The exhibition will showcase a wide range of modern and traditional defense equipment, weapon systems and vehicles. Global defense experts are showing deep interest in the IDS 2024 exhibition. <coughs> defense production and exports are among the priorities of Special Investment Facilitation Council. 
Chairman National Disaster Management Authority, Lieutenant General Inam Heather Malik, held a meeting with President and Chair of the Board of Directors at COP29 in Baku, Azerbaijan. The meeting focused on critical issues related to climate change and disaster resilience. Both sides emphasized the importance of climate change mitigation and adaptation strategies. They highlighted the need for robust support for resilient infrastructure to withstand the increasing frequency and intensity of natural disasters. The two sides underscored the urgency of releasing funds from the Loss and Damage Fund to support nations in their recovery and rebuilding efforts. This is Radio Pakistan.